Porsche's approach to the 911 is perfect, rinse, repeat, which is to say introduce a new 911 and over the years squeeze more and more awesomeness out of it until there's no more to be had and then start over with a new generation 911. Now this is interesting. Our test car is the first year of a new generation of 911, codenamed the 991 model. Does that mean it's a vastly better car than the generation preceding, the 997, or do we receive it as very much an unoptimized car, with lots of room for improvement built in, if you will? Are you buying the latest greatest, or are you buying a dialed back, choked down version of the glorious car that the 991 series Porsche will eventually become in the fullness of time. As for the 2012 911 Carrera S, it is a spectacular car with superb performance. 7 minutes 40 seconds around the Nürburgring, which is 14 seconds faster than the car previously was, and as fast as the previous model Turbo, which is kind of staggering when you think about it. 391 horsepower and a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, 3,300 pounds. I recommend getting the flappy paddles. The car is bigger with nearly 4 inches more wheelbase and has a lot more room in the back for the occasional passengers and parcels. The interior is massively updated too, as is the price tag. Porsche has, for all intents, pushed the 911 over the $100,000 bar. Now, there are cheaper cars that are as quick or quicker in a straight line, figure about 4 seconds to 60 with the PDK gearbox, but you can't find a more holistically sorted, livable, and drivable sports car. Perfect, rinse, repeat. For the Wall Street Journal, I'm Dan Neal.